about a fisherman, a fisherman named Peter. He was one of Jesus' disciples. Shortly after Jesus died, the disciples had met with the risen Jesus twice in Jerusalem. But then Peter just suggested they went back to Galilee and to go fishing. And one night they went out in the boat and they caught nothing. And in the cold light of morning, when they would have been at their lowest ebb, they heard a voice across the lake. A man called out to them. They couldn't see who it was, but he said, put your nets down on the other side. I don't know why they did it, but they did. There must have been something about that man. And they put their nets down and they caught the biggest catch of fish of their lives. Suddenly one of the disciples in the boat called out, it's the Lord. He had recognised that it was Jesus. Well, Peter was always full of enthusiasm. He couldn't wait for the boat to get to shore and he jumped into the water. He must have been so cold. And he swam to the shore and there was Jesus waiting with a fire going, with bread, cooking fish. And when the men brought the rest of the catch ashore, he said, bring some of your fish and he made them breakfast. I bet that was the best breakfast they ever had. And then Jesus called Peter to one side and he said to him, Peter, do you love me? Well, Peter was known to have loved Jesus, even though he denied him during Jesus' trial out of fear. Still, everyone knew how much Peter loved Jesus. So Jesus, Peter said, of course I love you. Jesus said something strange. He said, feed my lambs. And then he said to Peter again, he said, do you love me? He said, well, you know that I love you. And Jesus said, feed my sheep. And then a third time he said, to Peter, Peter, do you love me? Well, Peter was really hurt this time. And he said, Lord, you know that I love you. And I wonder if Jesus looked at Peter with love and understanding and compassion. And he said, care for my sheep. And Jesus showed that if we really love him, we need to follow his example. He always cared for those around him. Just like he prepared that breakfast for them on the shores of the lake that morning, he wants his followers now to care for those around him, to feed 